Charter and Parliament. In England, in the 1200s, there was a growing struggle between the kings and lords. The absolute power of kings was being questioned by those that ruled. King John of England, the youngest son of Henry II, was given to violent outbursts of temper. Not surprisingly, he soon angered his barons in English-ruled Anjou and Poitiers, and he lost those lands to France. In England, he taxed his barons heavily, and ruled so harshly that they rebelled. The barons threatened John and demanded he recognize their traditional rights and obey the law. The Magna Carta in 1215, the barons met King John in a meadow called Runnymede, beside the Thames River. There they forced him to put his seal on the Magna Carta, or Great Charter. This document covered many important areas, including weights and measures, the powers of sheriffs, and the legal rights of freemen and boroughs, towns. The king agreed to obey the laws himself, and he was not allowed to raise taxes without the agreement of his great council of nobles. No sooner had John agreed to the charter than he went back on his word. A civil war broke out, but John soon died, leaving the throne to his young son, who became Henry III. The charter was reissued, and in 1225 it became the law of England. Henry III was incompetent, and he spent large sums of money, so the barons banded together again, this time led by Simon de Montfort, and forced Henry to agree to consult the Great Council in all major matters. Like his father, Henry III went back on this deal, but de Montfort defeated him in battle at Luz in 1264. Simon de Montfort and the Council ruled England in Henry's name. The Power of Parliament In 1265, Simon de Montfort in created a new parliament of two chambers, the House of Lords, which was previously the Great Council of Nobles and Bishops, and the House of Commons. The House of Commons was made up of two knights from every shire and two people, called Burgesses, who represented each borough. Later, Edward I, a successful ruler, reformed England's law and administration. He created a model parliament which includes even more representatives from the country. However, the king still held power. In 1388, there was a major clash, and the merciless Parliament removed some of the King Richard II's rights. As time went on, Parliament's powers gradually grew. The House of Commons slowly gained greater power, although it was mostly richer classes that were represented in Parliament. Full-scale democracy only arrived in the 1900s.